What's going on Pisces? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for January 2023. So in this reading Pisces, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and much more regarding January 2023. But before we begin this reading Pisces, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Pisces, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. That would also be greatly appreciated over here, Pisces. So without further ado, I'm going to pull the energy, and we'll see what wants to come through for you for January 2023. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards for you from the universe for January. We have Lord Ganesh Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing at this time. So infinite abundance, I'm getting very strongly here. There's an opportunity for you to think about uh, doing things new ways in your business or um, finding ways to do your current work better or changing your work or just maybe changing some beliefs about money because beliefs do create our reality. So it's always important to question like, do you have limiting money beliefs um, and, and working through that, like, and being honest with yourself instead of, it's very easy to just run away from it and retreat, but there's something about like going after something big, infinite abundance. It doesn't mean you have to be this or that, just more, right? Okay. Um, you also have mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So there could be something here about forgiveness, forgiving someone. Um, I'm getting even like as you move into 2023, forgiving the people who instilled bad beliefs in you and having no resentment for it. There could be something with your mother. You could have recently gotten to something with your mother, or there could be something you've been thinking about your mother, how she, you know, because when you're in the womb, you're taking on all the trauma, right? So there's something about your mother here we'll have to see. We also have hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. So I mean, there's definitely something about like recognizing your own divine worth and not letting society like fashion your role for you, but really breaking out of that this year, especially in January. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of downloads about how you're meant to do it. Now, your opportunity is the king of pentacles here, Pisces, okay? So with this being your opportunity, I'm getting this is your energy. For a lot of you, this could have to do with someone coming in um, in love could be an earth sign coming in for love for some of you, but really for most of you, I'm getting that there's an opportunity, something to do with money, something to do with your career, and an opportunity for you to focus on that in January, okay? We're gonna have to see as we clarify, but then we go here to your challenge is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords in your challenge here, Pisces, could have to do with you really taking action on the thoughts that you're getting. I'm getting in the physical world, grounding. I feel like a lot of you have really like million dollar ideas, and in 2023, especially in January, it's time for you to push the envelope. It's time for you to, to innovate, to do something new in your life. And I really feel like this is for all of you, that you have such good ideas that you just don't take seriously. And everything in this life depends on the meaning that you yourself give it. 
all right? So just keep in mind, like, Nike, the brand Nike, like, paid $30 for their logo, okay? So, like, just keep that in mind. Um, the Ace of Swords in your challenge, we're also going to have to see, but it could just be, like, you know, I don't know, I don't know, we're, I'm not really, we're going to have to see. Um, then we move here to your overall general energy Pisces for um, January, and we have the Hermit, we have the Queen of Cups, and we also have the Hanged Man here. So I do feel like you going in, going within yourself, um, loving yourself, this is what this is about, Pisces. This is about you being gentle with yourself, and um, there's something here about, like, you forgiving other people who have may, may once again have instilled negative uh, beliefs, or you may come into a realization about how, how much this actually is. For what this is a lot of you are doing, the Hanged Man, the Hermit, and the Queen of Cups here, something to do with the King of Pentacles and Abundance. There's something about you realizing how much of a prison that you're in. Okay, the people who make it very far in this life in whatever way that they want to do, they're the ones who realize how screwed they are. Like many years ago, I was like, I am screwed. Oh my gosh, I am I am messed up. My my beliefs are horrible. Um, they're just because if you are like having the same beliefs as the, the masses, it's no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And of course, there are many things that could have got you in the situation that you're in that are beyond your control. But I'm getting it's time to love yourself enough to stand up to your own inner demons. And for some reason, I'm getting your inner demons have to do with loving yourself enough to think you're big enough to do what you want to do. I don't know, like, because you're a visionary and there's something about, like, um, alternative medicine. Like, I'm getting, like, if you have things that you want to do that are, like, unconventional and you're like, that won't fit in the mainstream. In 2023, it's not going to be about the mainstream. We're going to see a very big... Um, shift away from any sort of superficiality, by the way. Like, so the King of Pentacles being in your opportunity related to this, I feel like is there somehow social conditioning holding you back from this that I feel like you're going to get downloads about? And then you're just going to say, screw it. Like, what am I waiting for? What do you have to lose? You know, something like that. Because you're meant to work really hard at something for a period of time in January. And this has to do with a project. This has to do with something that you're doubting. You're like, ah, that's a pipe dream. Be careful with what you say. Words are spells here, okay? Now, in what you don't see coming, you have the Eight of Cups, you have the Five of Cups, and you also have the Fool. There's a new beginning moving you out of sadness here. I do feel like some of you could have been through a recent breakup. Some of you could have been through a letdown with other people in your life, or some of you are just dealing with emotional problems and what you don't see coming, the Five of Cups, the Eight of... I feel like there's some sort of um, trauma coming up to do with the past, and I feel like you're, you're going to actually bust through it, though. You have a completely new beginning, the Fool. The Fool is not afraid to fail, okay? So don't be afraid to just be a little bit, like, childlike in your curiosity to how much you can... Like, pe like there's something about you're limited. You're so held back by the idea of your own self. I'm sorry to say it, but that's just how it's coming through. Like there's something about you're not maybe realizing how much that childhood, your subconscious mind controls your whole life and everything you do matters, Pisces, everything you do. So if you wake up and you say, I'm going to be abundant this year, I'm going to be abundant, I'm going to be abundant, everything you do counts, everything. And there's some sort of conditioning in you that I'm just getting you like sitting there in an apartment and you're like, no, the world is screwed. I'm not good enough. These people are better than me. Listen, if you're even 1% of a savage in this day and age, you're going to blow by the competition because everyone is like, oh, I'm on my phone. I'm depressed. I'm, le you know, everyone is screwed. And because everyone is screwed, greatness requires the backdrop of a humdrum thing. So instead of complaining about how the world is so cold and everything's so messed up and there are deliberate systematic ways that we all get held down and everyone's a victim, there's something about getting out of your victim mindset here and using it to your advantage in whatever way. Maybe this is, for some of you, this is going to be being worthy of manifesting a higher quality partner, being worthy of it. There's something about rewiring your subconscious mind in, 20, in January 2023. And really... Not being afraid to take action here, Pisces, because there's some sort of emotional block or some sort of like belief that's holding you back from taking action. Your advice is the Three of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Swords here. If you've been through a recent breakup here, I really feel like there's a lot of open energy for you to channel into your work here. The Eight of Pentacles and also the Knight of Swords for you to realize that you're meant to do something with your life in, in 2023. So you might be, you might be saying... 
like taking a break from love for a little while. I, some of you could actually be in a love thing, but there seems to be something about focusing on yourself here and focusing on how can you become the best version of yourself. And that all starts with answering these hard questions. So let's go ahead and see why the King of Pentacles is here for you Pisces in your, uh, your opportunity. Some of you have an opportunity to just, if you work a little bit harder, you're gonna get a lot of benefit for it. So why is the King of Pentacles here for you in your opportunity? Some of you might be having an ending with someone who is providing money for you. Whether this is, I don't know. The King of Pentacles in your opportunity is clarified by the Temperance card, the Queen of Cups, and also the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, this is about loving yourself enough to bring balance to any sort of material lack in your life. It's your destiny to do this, Pisces. The Queen of Cups is now here twice in, um, in this reading. It's in your opportunity. It's also in your overall general energy. For some reason, I'm not really getting that this has to do with love, though. I'm, I'm getting that this has to do with more so balancing out your own self, realizing as long as you're dependent on someone else, you're always going to be like, you're always going to be wanting someone else. There's something about improving yourself, loving yourself enough to move in alignment with your destiny. A lot of you have a big opportunity to be in alignment with what feels good to you. Like a life that feels good, creating what you want on the physical plane and not letting any of it, because a lot of you, I'm really sorry, but you're letting a lot of, you're like, I can't do that. I have to stay here. I can't do that. I can't go do this side business. It's like, you could do anything you want. The only thing that's holding you back is your own ideas about yourself, which may be implanted by society or your mother. All right, so just be aware of that. Now let's see why the hanged man is here, because this has to do with some sort of realization that you're having um, in your own life. So let's go ahead and see why the hanged man is here, Pisces, for you in your overall general energy. Let's see. King of Swords. Why is the hanged man here? Hanged Man is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, and also the Star. Okay, yeah, it's what I'm saying here. There's there's a lot, there's going to be, a, it's like January might feel like it's a lot for you. So I would say like take your time, be gentle with yourself. But there's a lot of renewal and healing when it comes to the physical realm, when it comes to your beliefs about money. I don't know why that's just what I'm getting. <clears throat> a lot of you have been playing small your whole entire life. And at this moment, you're going to either realize, okay, I've been playing small my whole, whole entire life, let me change this, or you're going to get mad and be like, no, he just thinks it's so easy, but it's just I've reprogrammed my subconscious mind to tell myself it's easy. Money's easy. Money is like air. It's infinite. And if that makes you feel uncomfortable, this is what I'm talking about. So the star... Because all of you have a service you can provide. All of you can provide something. Money is just about exchange of value. But there's something here to do with the mother. The I'm sorry, the queen of pentacles, the, the moon, and also the star here. There's something about you reprogramming your subconscious mind and being open to this healing experience for you. It's it's going to come through for you. That's, that's what this is about for a lot of you here. As well, you could be like quitting your job on a whim. Some of you may just decide that... Maybe you don't have money for a period of time, but you're setting yourself up for a greater period of money. Like, here's the thing. There was a period of my life when I decided to drop out of college and to chase my dream of becoming a spiritual teacher, which I am now. And during that time, I had to, like, take 10 steps back to take 100 steps forward. And my family and everyone was freaking out when I was like, 
uh, I'm not going to get a job. I'm just going to go to Barnes and Noble and read 12 hours a day and meditate and do all this stuff. And they're like, you're an idiot. They're literally like, and this is the, the family conditioning, the people around. They're like, you're an idiot. What do you mean? Like, I'm just going to, I'll just eat less. I'll just breathe in that good ass prana, baby. And like, that's what I had to do to get where I have to go. And there's something that you uniquely have to do to get where you want to go when it comes to this infinite abundance thing that may be misunderstood by yourself. And you may not be doing it because you're like, well, I can't do that because then society will label me as this. Society, because you need to play into the future. If you play the short game, there's something about stop playing the short game. If you just keep playing the short game of survival, get out of survival and, and get into thrival. Thriving. <laughs> okay. Let's see why the fool is here in um let's see why the fool is here. Because everyone's path is unique. I just feel like you need to do something unique that it's either you're in ju you're judging yourself or someone's in judging you. But it, it's like you could be judging yourself because of conditioning, I'm telling you. Why is the fool here? Because I'm also getting that this money thing is gonna be or this shift in your career is then going to be intimately linked to the people that you find in love. And so, and it's part of your destiny to do this, the wheel of fortune with the king of pentacles, but you need to love yourself to do it. Like your opinion of yourself has to be greater than the opinion of anyone else around you. The fool is clarified by the three of pentacles, the page of swords, and also the ten of pentacles here. Yeah, this has to do with a new foundation for you in the physical world. The ten of pentacles is about long-term wealth, legacy. The page of swords is about questioning things, getting more information. And the three of wands here is about waiting. So a lot of you here, what you're going to be doing in January 2023 is if, if some of you... It's not like you're going to be launching a business or it's not like you're going to be getting promoted or it's not like you're going to be – but you're doing something subconscious to where – here's the thing. There's been a long time where I knew I had to do like two years of shadow work or I knew I had to do like two months of shadow work where I saw like some people getting ahead of me in life, but I was just like they're not doing – they're not doing the subconscious. So look up like things like read books like Think and Grow Rich. Um, read books that have to do with the subconscious mind and learn about how much the subconscious mind influences you and how you can reprogram it through meditation, through stillness, through rewiring past memories. Because there's something about like if you can sit and do something that society makes you feel uncomfortable for doing or your, your family or you even policing yourself says, I can't afford I can't afford to sit here for three months and work less and do shadow work. I can't afford to. Well, I'm telling you, you can't afford to do the other thing. Do you understand? Like, there's something here. You're backwards. You're, you, you, you. Um, teach muggle sign language. You ain't deaf, son. You heard that? That mean run. Something. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, all right. <laughs> Let's see why the eight of pentacles is here in your... Um, why is this here? Why is this here in your? And some of you may have a love thing going on, but you're simultaneously doing this. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here in your advice from Spirit, Pisces? Be bold. Enter action with boldness here. The Eight of Pentacles in your uh, in your advice is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're meant to, you know what you need to do to create wealth and stability in you, in your life, but it's not going to be by the book. It's going to be very unconventional, but literally society is falling apart in front of our eyes. Like all of our jobs are going, like are many of what you people do for a living is going to be replaced by robots in the next five years. So it's like, find a way to do something that you can only do. The Ace of Swords is here in the advice with the Four of Pentacles stability and the Knight of Pentacles slow moving improvement. So there's something about you're not wanting to do this because you're like, the journey's so long. Uh, it's going to take me so long to reprogram my subconscious mind. But guess what? If you don't do this, if you just sit there and do nothing because it's going to take too long or because you don't want to be judged or because you're already dead, you're literally already dead. Most people die at 17 and they don't get buried until they're 72. 
And so because you're breaking out of that, you're going to have these demons and you might need to fight through your own resistance or resistance that someone is throwing at you. But you have, it's interesting that your challenge is the Ace of Swords and now you also have the Ace of Swords in your advice. What this means is that you know what you need to do. The Ace of Swords is about clarity. You know what you need to do, Pisces, but for some sort of resistance, conditioning, or just your own practical mind is telling you I can't afford to do it. Listen, Jesus walked in... 30 days without food. I remember like when I was chasing my dream and this is not going to be the path for everyone. Like you can very easily hold on to a job and then simultaneously do the work on the side. And that's, e you can do that. There's no shame in that. Like whatever you do to make money, maybe hold on to it. And then, but maybe ruthlessly realize if I don't get out of this in the long run, I'm screwed. Let's like pretend like I need to do it right now. For some of you though, there is something about like more of a radical approach that I kind of prefer, but that's definitely not for everyone. But um, you're meant to just do it. Don't think, don't overthink this, cut through your conditioning and don't let anyone get in your head and um, rewire some of your beliefs here and love yourself enough to do this. It's like, um, one of the things, the last thing I'll say here is like part of the reason you're not doing this is because like, just ask yourself the question, Pisces, in your own life, like what would someone who loved themselves do? That's the only question you need to ask yourself, and that might change what you do. But what would someone who loved themselves do? That's the uh, mantra I want you to focus on in January 2023, whatever that means for you, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it provided you clarity and insight, and I'll talk to you next time. Pisces.